Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas having a great time with Heather Morris from Salvation Army. Talking volunteers. Yes. What do you need us to do? So um, there are a lot of opportunities. Like we were saying before, everybody has their own, you know, gifts that they can they can give to this. We need volunteers that are there to help us serve. Mm-hmm. Um, people that are there to, well, everything from like welcome to um, to helping people be seated, to directing them to the other services that we'll talk about that are going to be provided that day, and then people that will volunteer to cook for us. So nice. everything from the turkeys to the side dishes. Um, now, if they decide to cook these at home mm-hmm. and then bring them on that day, where do they bring them? So they're going to bring it to 420 Market Avenue South. Mm-hmm. We're going to have our own little spot. They're going to have like turkey drop-off parking spots <laughs> right. that will be, no, seriously. Okay, that's <laughs> that, good. That, where they'll be welcomed to, you know, park and bring them in. Somebody will be right there to you know, direct them to where to go. And again, that's volunteers again. Someone, people that are willing to like do that kind of stuff. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe you can't help on Christmas day, I mean Christmas Eve day, but you can help the day before that. Like so it really. Sunday, we can drop things yes. off on Sunday. Yep. You're going to have a special spot. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we'll take you in. We'll thank you big time. And, you know. And if they want to drop it off on Christmas Eve day, same kind of deal? Yes, same okay. kind of deal. I believe when I spoke with Michelle, mm-hmm. I believe that she was saying by 11. Okay, that sounds so good. So that sounds like what? Okay, the so time. before 11, mm-hmm. drop it off yep. at Salvation Army yep. on Market Avenue. Um, noon to three? Is that when noon this to is, three is Okay, when, yep. There's is the serving time. Yes, there are also other services that will be provided that day. What are those? We have a committee that is kind of handling that. So like I said, I'm at, people are doing everything for us. So <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. So it sounds like we're looking into like haircuts. Nice. Like maybe, you know, some self-care things. Mm-hmm. We have we have a shower room um, for men and women, and we have um, provided to us by donations supplies, towels, you know, washcloths, um, shampoos, that kind of stuff. So we'll provide and open those rooms if mm-hmm. somebody needs a shower. Um, I think we said like. I think we said nails, like pedicure and awesome. manicure kind of things. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just some other agencies that can give out information on what they do so that um, I think that's a good opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. So they can, so people can find out what services yes. are available. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of just remarkable to think of the full scope of all of this. Oh, yeah. So uh, oh, yeah. if someone is thinking, well, I can do nails mm-hmm. or I, I do hair, yes, again, call. call the Salvation Army. Please call. Let me give you that number again, 330-453-0159. That's 330-453-0159. Who, Heather, is this for? I know we've said... A meal for the homeless. Mm. However, some people are just working poor or having a hard time making ends meet. They're they're getting by, but they don't have any leftover for extras. Exactly. Who's invited? I think it's this is a community Christmas. Mm. Okay. Nice. So if you feel like you're in need of a meal, if you feel like you want to celebrate Christmas with us, if you feel like um, this is where you would be comfortable mm. at that time. I think that that you're the person. Mm. I think that you're the family that needs to be there. I was just even wondering about that one maybe person who would be feeling lonely. Oh yeah. Otherwise, oh yeah. Here's and a when, place to come and with really, fellowship. When you're lonely, you're not going to eat. Yeah. You're not going to eat on your own. You're mm-hmm. just not going to. And then there's problems there. You need you need to eat, mm-hmm. you know, and you need to celebrate the holiday mm. and feel like you have unity and people around you. And um, we're going to do a devotional, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. maybe a couple times mm-hmm. and and have that opportunity to have people there and, and learn about God's love and, you know, why we do what we do. Yes. I heard that Santa Claus oh, is going to have a visit. Yes. You know, those kids mm-hmm. that come deserve yes. deserve some fun, yeah. you know, and maybe we'll have a couple little goodie giveaways. Oh, 
So you know? fun. Yeah. And just to feel the warmth of being in fellowship Absolutely. with other people just Absolutely. at that time of year can mean so much. Absolutely. Um, we're talking about volunteers. Yes. You mentioned kettles yes, earlier. I know. That's one of the most fun things in the world I to know, do. I know it really is. I did it a lot <laughs> as a young person. I'll bet you did. A lot, a lot as a teenager. <laughs> so, so one of the other great things that Share the Warmth has brought to us, which is just such a gift, is they're going to also the volunteers that they get in. They're also going to um, kind of put out there for them that if. If they wanted to, they could stand kettles for us. They could stand at a store, maybe with their family. Um, It kind of gets cold, so maybe... (laughs) It does. Maybe you have to, like, you know... There's there's a little trade off there. Yes. If you get to go inside the store, you don't get to ring a bell. I know. If you stand outside the store, <laughs> yeah. you get to ring a bell, but You're a bundle up. Cold. You're yeah. a little. It cold. just depends. But some people really love that. Oh, so. absolutely. <laughs> it's it's some of the most fun I've ever had. It is. You can sing while you're on the kettle. Oh, I you never can. thought of that. You know, the thing is. People that are have the heart to volunteer like that, they know the people in the community. Mm-hmm. So they're going to see people and they're going to say, come on, get in this, you know, get on the bandwagon. This is the cool thing to do. You know what I mean? Relentlessly. Yeah. yeah. This is something so selfless to do oh, it's so for a fun. day. Yeah. And well, tell us really the cause. What is involved? What's the commitment, the time commitment and so forth? Because someone well, might be saying, well, that might be kind of fun. I know. Well, you can do an entire day. Mm-hmm. I'm sure <laughs> Which you would be an eight hour shift. <laughs> wow. Which I've done. Oh my so, goodness! Yeah. There's a special corner in heaven for you. Uh, heaven. No. Oh my goodness! No good memories. Good memories. Yes. But um, t- we're looking for like two hour shifts. Mm-hmm. If that's what you can do, I think that anybody can do that. Easy, you know. And um, if you give us a call. And we'll just, we have somebody that coordinates the kettle volunteers and really handles the whole kettle campaign. It's a huge project. Can you request where you get to be? You can. We would let you know Mm -hmm. where is opened. And because we can't, we don't have just any stores. So (laughs) we would let you know where we're allowed to stand. And then you would let us, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Most fun. Tell me, you because you said you had lots of stories. Most fun you ever had working on a kettle. What well, happened? I think, um, I think when I was a teenager and we would really like roll our eyes like, oh, we're going to go out. It's after school. <laughs> we finished our homework. But just, I have memories being with my sisters. I have mm-hmm. four sisters and two mm-hmm. brothers. So being with my sister's um, I think we learned a lot. Mm-hmm. I think we learned a lot about giving back. I think we learned a lot about working together. I think we learned a lot about being um, supportive of one another because there was always somebody like me that got too cold too quick. <laughs> but we learned to like <laughs> sing Christmas cattle, carols, carols. Nice. <laughs> um, we learned a lot of words to songs that we were probably wrong about. <laughs> <laughs> it made more sense after we knew the right words. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, we've all been I mean, there. It was good. I mean, we we sang while we worked, and that's fun. People would come up to us and say, "I worked. I was in the army. Mm. The Salvation Army handed us coffee. Mm. You know what I mean? Gave us a donut. Mm-hmm. Um, supported us. Helped me find my family." Um, brought us in, gave us a meal. And those stories are what make it yeah. worth, yeah. you know, what you're doing. And and um, now that I'm an adult, I learned so much from that. Yeah. So yeah. I'm so grateful. So we just call up and say, I'd like to, I'd like, I'd like to ring a bell. Oh, I want yeah. a man a kettle. We'll and you're allowed you. to do that. You can do that as a family. Yes. You don't have to be there alone. Yes. I was relentless, I will say. Um, I would, you know, recognized a lot of folks coming into the store that were shopping, call them out by name. I know, you know that's what we need. Oh my gosh, that's what it's we need. so much fun. And somebody said, oh, I'm so sorry, I only have a 20 on me. And I said, you know what? <laughs> we accept 20s. Yes, we so do. What could they do other than go ahead and <laughs> give me the whole thing and then walk on in? I know, yeah. yeah it is good for you. so much. Well, good for you. my goodness, it's just so much fun. I know. And a lot of those people, I'm not going to see them again anyway. So. <laughs> I really don't care what they think. What a good way, too. I always think, like, and there are companies that do this, but what a great, 
what a great opportunity for companies because we absolutely can, we've done this before. We can put your your company sign up there. Oh and my! It would goodness. say today we are representing the Salvation Army and the company. What I mean, what a great thing! Love that idea for you to get together and do. I mean, team building, just just something. Fantastic. That'd be a terrific team building yes, exercise. I agree. Oh my goodness! All right, come on, business owners, yes. give them a call, sign yes. up your employees, give them the day to. To, uh, just go ahead and man yep. some kettles. I'm thinking church groups, Bible studies, yes. book clubs, garden clubs. You know, just it's endless. a fun it's way to spend yeah. some time together and do some good for the I community. Agree. The other thing I think of when I think of Salvation Army is a Salvation Army band. Yes. Do we get any opportunities to hear you? Yes, we'll be out on the kettles. Oh my gosh, how I fun. I think that we're going to play the night. You know, I, I'm, I play... The euphonium. Do you? <laughs> so, if I'd have known that, I'd have asked you oh, to bring oh, it please along. No. Oh, please no. When you're a kid and you grow up in the Salvation Army, they hand you an instrument when uh-huh. you're old enough to like hold it. There's, so, there's no yeah. maybe. No, you just do it. <laughs> it's oh, great. Great opportunity. I don't even know what a euphonium is. What is it's that? It's kind of like a mini tuba. Oh my it's gosh. Mini, how fun. It's mini. Yeah. So you would be playing that maybe at Share the Warmth? Yes. Oh. <gasps> Right there is a reason to volunteer for <laughs> Share the Warm. To see me. Oh, you must. You've got to see Heather and a euphonium. No extra charge. <laughs> what a blast. It's um, it's just going to be a great time. We're so excited. So again, so let's excited. give the phone number for you to sign up to uh, do any of these things. Mm-hmm. We want to uh, get you people on the kettles because that it really is an experience. 330-453-0159. All right. Uh, Talking to somebody with a lifetime of Salvation Army experience, (laughs) tell me another story, just a life Um, you know that was changed from the Army. Oh, there's so many. I I do know that last year at Christmas time, we had the opportunity to meet someone that called into the repository, and he was a veteran, and he was actually, Major Tom, my boss, wrote a story about him on Christmas, Mm. and it was in the paper. But just even if you've heard the story before, he was a veteran. He was hurt in the war. He was sent to one of our um, VA hospitals, and he was visited by a woman, um, I think for about a year and a half, helped him through things, wow. um, convinced him about not committing suicide, wow. taking his own life. Wow. And we met him. Mm-hmm. We met him. This woman passed since then. He He was kind of like a pen pal with her, but fantastic. Mm. His life was changed because mm-hmm. of her. And that's one. Multiply that by oh, yeah. who knows what number. Yes. Incredible, the yes. work that you've done. Heather Morris, Salvation Army, thank you Such so a pleasure. much for giving to our community. Thank you.